Hey everyone, my name is Joe Elliott, and we are going to look at uh, three amazing new features in TraceQL released in Tempo 2.8. So first of all, um, we have some new metrics features. I think we're going to talk about two of those. Let's look at a pretty common query here, right? We're going to do a rate by, and let's just do resource service name, right? And span name. So something pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to take the rate of all our spans. We're going to group them by our service name and our span name. Maybe we're just looking to see what's creating a lot of traffic and tempo. Now, in this case, we've created a 200 something series, and this might become a little overwhelming, right? We're looking kind of scrolling through here. I see tons of options. I might um, struggle to kind of parse this and really get a sense of what's the top. I can I could kind of mouse over. Maybe I'm struggling to see some of these down here. So what we've added is uh, top K and bottom K, and this is a, a function you can pipeline any metrics into. So I have my initial query, I'm piping that to the rate with uh, by service name, span name, but I want to filter this down some. So let's look at the top 10. Um, if I reduce to the top 10, I can now get kind of a much more focused uh, view of this data, and I'm only looking at a, a much reduced subset. You'll notice there's actually more than 10 series, and that's because we do top K in a very similar method to Prometheus. So in Prometheus, for every data point, um, a new top K is calculated, the top 10 on every data point, and um, Tempo is following suit there. So you're going to see more than uh, 10 down here, and that's because every data point is evaluated individually. Um, we could kind of drop this down some, maybe do top K5 and see fewer. And I can now start mousing over and maybe I'm able to see kind of this really tight view. I can very clearly see my top few service and operation names. So a really quick way to reduce some data sets um, to get more value out of the uh, out, of what, out of what you're querying from Tempo. Cool. So top K and uh, off, of course we have bottom K as well. Um, uh, which just kind of does the opposite, right? So top K and bottom K, two new functions in a tempo. Uh, another one. So we have a number of uh, over time, right? We have average over time. We have quantile over time. We have a number, number of different uh, functions that calculate metrics over a time series, a small window. And we have since added in this release in Tempo 2.8, we've added a uh, sum over time. So this is going to do what you expect. It was kind of just an easy, uh, an easy extension of the existing metrics functions. And in this case, we're just going to look at uh, sum over time of this response content length. So this is an attribute on my spans, and I can kind of clearly see where uh, the data is spiking so I can see where my services are sending more data in the responses than otherwise. Uh, sum over time operates on the step. The step is auto right now. So we could change this to be like 10 seconds. We can manually set it to what we want um, or we can allow Tempo to choose. Uh, and, and if we set it to auto, of course, we're just gonna let it choose. And that is what the sum is calculated over. Cool. So top K, bottom K, nice functions to reduce the amount of data return to help focus. Sum over time, a new function, which gives us uh, the sum of any attribute. We could use duration, which is kind of maybe strange, but we could, uh, or other any attribute on our uh, spans. Um, all right, so sum over time, top K, bottom K. Uh, not in the field of metrics queries, but a new feature added to Tempo. This one's been a long time requested, and we've now added it as a query hint, is the concept of uh, getting the most recent uh, traces. So. Previously, currently, Tempo will return any trace it finds, and this is for speed. When you do any query, it just finds anything it can, as fast as it can, or returns you how, well, your limit. So if we set to 20 or 100 or 1,000, it will return that many traces as soon as it finds uh, finds anything matching your conditions. Now, but a lot of people want to see the most recent, right? This is a pretty common request. In fact, it might be one of our most common uh, requests in uh, the GitHub uh, issue tracker. So we've added this ability with uh, this hint. Most recent equals true. This is a weird syntax. In fact, Grafana doesn't even like it. We did add it in this kind of experimental way on purpose. Uh, we had intended, or we talked about adding it as a configuration option here, maybe a checkbox or something. Um, but we decided to add it as a query hunt because we really want to make this default. Um, certain elements of the structure of Tempo are preventing it from being as performant as we want at scale. Um, so we added it as a query hunt so people could experiment with it. Um, they can decide, you know, how to use it. If it's working well for them, they can file issues on it. We can home it in, uh, make it performant as we want across all scales, uh, and then probably make it the default behavior. So we really encourage people to experiment with uh, most recent equals true. 
Um, it allows you to get the most recent results. You'll see here like uh, 41 minutes is kind of my query range and I'm getting stuff like right up to 41 minutes, right? So like 59.99996 and kind of like getting right up into that absolute last second. These are the guaranteed uh, 20 most recent uh, queries ordered by their uh, start time. Uh, where before, if we remove this, Tempo is just going to find, you know, whatever it can happen to find and give it back to me. So here I'm seeing like 54 seconds, 30, and we're seeing it kind of scattered across the time range versus kind of pinned all the way to the absolute right edge of my time range. All right. So three new features in TraceQL we're excited about. Uh, sum over time, a new metrics function allows you to sum any attribute of any span kind of over time. Uh, there is the top K and bottom K, giving you more control over the data that's returned to see uh, focused sets of data. So the top um, or the, the highest value or the lowest value sets of series in a metrics response. And then finally, this uh, with uh, most recent true is a, a long time coming. Uh, it took some doing. We got it in right after we cut 2.7 and it is an exciting feature in 2.8 where you can see these absolute most recent traces. All right, uh, I hope you all enjoy the features in 2.8. There's a lot of uh, performance improvements, a lot of bug fixes. It's a good release. And these three new TraceQL features, uh, we will see you in Tempo 2.9.